Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Frail TV! Our subject for today is Math 4, Quarter 3, Week 6 Milk Base Let's learn about Finding the elapsed time in minutes and seconds Lesson 1 At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Find the elapsed time in minutes and seconds Hello kids! Today, we are going to learn about different ways on how to find the elapsed time in minutes and seconds Sometimes, we want to find out the duration of an activity we can find the elapsed time if we know the starting time and finishing time. What do we mean by elapsed time? Elapsed time is the length of the time when an event happened from the start to the end. To find the elapsed time, you can use the following. First, use a number line. Second, Count the number of seconds or minutes from the time the event started to the time the event ended. And third, subtract the time when the event started from the time it ended. Let us analyze the problem below. Kevin started answering his math activity at 8.30 in the morning. If he finished answering at 9.25 in the morning, how long did Kevin answer the activity? How will you solve this problem? To solve this problem, you can use a number line like this. Time started is 8.30 and time ended is 9.25. Start counting from 8.30 by 5s up to 9.25 to get the elapsed time. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 55 minutes. Therefore, Kevin spent 55 minutes to answer his activity. You can also count the number of minutes from the time Kevin started answering to the time he finished answering. Time started is 8.30 and time ended is 9.25. And then write the number of minutes. From 8.30 to 8.40, there are 10 minutes. 8.30 to 8.50, there are 20 minutes. 8.30 to 9 o'clock, there are 30 minutes. 8.30 to 9.10, there are 40 minutes. 8.30 to 9.20, there are 50 minutes. Then add 5 minutes. From 8.30 to 9.25, there are 55 minutes. The elapsed time is 55 minutes. You can also subtract the time started from the time ended. Time started is 8.30 and time ended is 9.25. Think 9.25 as 9 hours and 25 minutes. And then think 8.30 as 8 hours and 30 minutes. And then rename 1 hour as 60 minutes. 9 hour becomes 8.60. Add 60 and 25 minutes. 60 plus 25, it will become 885. Then subtract 830 from 885. So 885 minus 830 equals 55. Therefore, Kevin spent 55 minutes to answer his activity. Kevin answered his math activity for 55 minutes. The length of time that he spent in answering is called elapsed time. 
And now, try to do the following activities. Learning Task 1 Find the elapsed time shown in each number line. Number 1 Time started is 5 minutes and time ended is 35 minutes. Let us count by 5 using the number line. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Therefore, the elapsed time is 30 minutes. You can also subtract 35 minutes minus 5 minutes equals 30 minutes. So the elapsed time is 30 minutes. Number 2. Time started 25 minutes. Time ended 55 minutes. Let's count by 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. The elapsed time is 30 minutes. You can also subtract 55 minus 25 equals 30. So again, the elapsed time is 30 minutes. Number 3. Time started 15 minutes. Time ended 60 minutes. Let's count by 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 45. The elapsed time is 45 minutes. Or subtract, 60 minus 15 equals 45 minutes. The answer is 45 minutes. For learning task 2, complete the table by finding the elapsed time. For the first row, time started is 7.15. And time ended is 7.56. The elapsed time or the number of minutes is 41 minutes. For the second row, time started 4.5. Time ended 4.48. The elapsed time is 43 minutes. Third row, time started 6.4. Time ended 6.59. The elapsed time is 55 minutes. Fourth row. Time started 2.5 p.m. Time ended 2.54 p.m. The elapsed time is 49 minutes. Fifth row. Time started 8.36 a.m. Time ended 9.12 a.m. The elapsed time is 36 minutes. Remember, elapsed time is the length of the time when an event happened from the start to the end. To find the elapsed time, you can use the following. Number 1, use a number line. Number 2, count the number of seconds or minutes from the time the event started to the time the event ended. And number 3, subtract the time when the event started from the time it ended. So kids, do you understand our lessons today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!